There's only another room in there. There is no breeze. <laughs> is that supposed to be some sort of voodoo doll? But I am terrified right now after what I just seen. Thank you for watching Franco TV. So I've made it back to La Quinta heading. Now I made my way towards a different entrance. I got lucky because you guys have no idea how dangerous and how difficult it is to just lock this place down to get access here. Um, the, the owner's kind of finicky, so he's kind of on and off whether he wants to let me in or not. But I got access. I'm just taking full advantage of this as I can. I'm in a bit of a noisy area, so I'm gonna start heading in and kind of showing you how creepy and abandoned this place is as I'm walking into this little town area, which is completely isolated. Let's get into the video. Look at this cool little design up here with the castle. This all was for rich people back in the day. Now the thing is, a lot of these places have their own little history here for other people who passed away. But it should be getting significantly a lot quieter as I'm kind of walking through here. I feel a lot safer now using this camera because here it's kind of like, kind of safe, but the thing is right over this fence, anyone could just jump over and I could get, you know, my stuff stolen. So the last time I was here, I was getting sounds of noises, footsteps. There was things that looked like it was seen passing through the doorway in one of the mansions here through the back. What I didn't know is that there's actually another hidden mansion right through here towards the very far back. I wanna see how it looks. There's absolutely nobody here. It is so freaking empty through here. But over here is where the hidden mansion is in the far back. Not sure if you can see it. Oh my God. Well, that's one way to start this. Scared the hell out of me. Look at that. And this is one of the gates to another little other part of a mansion here, which I'll be exploring today. I did end up finding what looked like a creepy room with a hole in the wall with a secret room on the inside. And as of passing through it, I ended up finding a kid's room and I got a really creepy vibe just going through there. And it almost looked like something kind of bad happened within that room. It might not have been anything bad happening at all, but it was just the creepiest vibe just going through there. Again, there's a lot of stories that resonate through this whole area. Some stories are not told to me. Some of them are not even known. So, you know, throughout every roof underneath it always has the most craziest stories that one would not even think possible. This is what I saw on the inside is that horse. I don't remember seeing that the last time, but if you look here, they got really cool samurai swords. And this is pretty much what the guy ended up taking his life with. He put that in his abdominal area and ended up cutting his stomach. So these are things that were inside his house at the time of when his body was discovered. And some weird contraption over there. I'm not sure what that is. So one thing I noticed is unfortunately, they do not want me in this room. They locked it. But this is the room right through here. There's like a, a doorway in the back and it had a creepy hallway to a room with a hole in the wall. They even blocked it with that thing too. That wasn't there the last time. Damn, I really got a weird vibe about this room. So on this side, there's another door and I've never seen this. And there's like what looks like a staircase. And look, they got like these little barred windows. Oh, there's something in there. can see that. Look at that. Oh my god, it looks like somebody's been sleeping in there. Why would they have bars on it? Oh 
what the hell was that? I just saw something move. All right, I don't, I've never been to this specific area before. So wish me luck, let me not have it too bright. I think that's fine. I did just see something move through here, but I didn't hear anything, I just saw something. Hola? And the creepy thing is, is that I do believe that where I'm at right now is on top of the floor with the room with the hole in it. I kind of want to see if there's another way down so I can make access to that room. There's so many doors and hidden little areas. Oh, this is not safe. getting down there from here. All right, sorry if I look extremely nervous right now, but I just found another creepy room and right when I paused the camera, I heard a noise from right behind me. And I'm kind of freaking out. It's one of those things where it's just like, Frank, do the videos. Either you make a video or you don't. I'm actually scared to go in this room, <laughs> but when I make my way in there, there seems to be a lot of stuff on the floor. So I'm probably gonna cover my nose going in there there's even what looks like a little secret window. And whatever the hell looks like it's been clawing at the walls. Look at that. Looks like something in here wanted to get out. Some sort of animal or something. What do you think? I am covering my nose here, but as you guys can see, look at all the dust. See that? There's a bone on the floor, right there, and someone's shoe. I just heard a noise. There's something down there. Hola? Oh, this thing goes deep. There's a whole underground hidden floor. Oh God, this is stupid. There's gotta be another way down. I just don't trust these staircases. I deeply, deeply, deeply do wanna go down here. But, the thing is that I'm alone and if this thing stairs breaks, I'm falling down there and I don't know who's gonna come find me. At this point now, I am going to make my way to uh, one of the other mansions here that I have not been to. This should be one of the creepiest right here. Oh, 
would assume so. I'm actually excited to see it because I haven't been here in such a long time. But there's a lot of weird stuff to this place, like this. Just bars and hidden rooms, like kind of like they had prisoners or something inside the room. I don't think it was animals. What do you guys think happened here? Maybe I'm missing something. You guys know something more. But let me make my way to the other mansion. So I've now made it to the back where the mansions are. This is the new one that I'm gonna check out. But before I go in there, I wanna do one quick look at this one because this one was really creepy. And I wanna see if I catch anything or see anything on my way in. This place looks like it definitely grew a lot. There's plants everywhere. Is that door swinging? The door is freaking swinging right now. Holy I wanna see if I see anything on the inside. Closing. Let me see if it's still doing it. Yep. Holy crap, that is so creepy. Oh, I just heard something over here. If you guys see anything, let me know in the comments. In case I missed something here. Especially for the windows. The door is still opening and closing. I'm gonna shine it with a... It is literally just shaking. Hola? I'm gonna see if I could switch over to my GoPro and use the wide angle. So I just switched over to my night vision camera for the GoPro. I switched over to a night vision camera so that way you guys have a whole room scale of what you guys could see. Because with the other Psyonix camera, it's for like far away shots. And you're not going to see anything. You're just going to be zoomed into a wall. This door was literally just opening and closing. ¿Tú puedes abrirlo y cerrarlo otra vez? Can you open and close the door again? Oh, 
Switch over. There is literally nothing. Inside this room, I don't even think this was here the last time. Your marbles on the floor. There was marbles inside this room the last time. Look, there's another one right over here. It's slowly going into this room. See? I am not sure what was the deal with the marbles. And I don't know what the deal is with the door opening. As soon as I walked inside, the temperature did change though, it was colder as I walked inside the building. But the door is no longer moving anymore. It just felt colder walking in. But as of right now, it feels normal. Hola. Puedes abrir la puerta. Open the door for me, come on. Ábrelo. Keep hearing random on this side. That was that was awesome, but also terrifying. So I have been out here for about 20 minutes, trying to see if these doors would open. I'm not getting any signs of responses. Until now, I swear to God, I just got that just now. The thing just opened up on its own. This then was the left one. It's like something was peeking out at me. I'm gonna take this off this tripod. Yeah, I was not even expecting that. Hola? ¿Yo puedo entrar? I kid you not, I was just going to tell you guys I was going to take this as an invitation to go inside. And this thing just opened. Right here, this was the left one. There is nothing. Here, just this window. Look. I don't know how to, here, let me grab my other flashlight so you guys see better. This is one room here. This is the other one. Oh, what the f Look at this. I just now saw this. I don't know how legit this is or not, but there's blood splatter. Oh, it looks like blood spatter on the wall. This isn't from the time that this guy took his life. This is recent. And what has me most amused isn't this part. It's this part right here. Because blood turns dark. This will mean it's super recent, but I don't know. I'm going to leave that to you guys. I was just not expecting to see that. Sorry, it caught me off guard. So yeah, the door opened on the left-hand side now. I'm literally just trying to go about my video, trying to record something else. I haven't even been in this room. Well, not today. I, I haven't. So I just set up night vision cameras on the outside. Um, so I have some panorama views around the building. In case I...
עולה? fit this camera in there. I'm gonna switch to my other camera so you guys can see inside. I really want to go in this room and see what the hell this is all about. But they completely locked it. Yeah. God, I am freaking out in here. Look at that, look at that. It just moved. There's only another room in there. There is no breeze. What? Oh my God. I legit, I thought I heard something running through here. there because there's like a bunch of naked women on the wall. There's more of this weird stuff. Just because it's red, I'm probably sure that this is fake blood, obviously, because blood usually turns black. But um, this could have been some sort of remake of a ritual or something. They do some weird stuff. But there's a lot of experts on here that wouldn't know. Literally looked like something was brushing up or touching the door with their hands and that freaked me out. I'm going to close the door again to see if I can see something touching the window. Because it literally looked like something running its hands through the window. I mean, I didn't see hands. I just saw this thing moving like somebody was brushing up against it, kind of with their hand. Nothing. It's not even moving just a little bit. Holy I feel like something's messing with me inside this room, like it's just amused with me being here. And clearly something did happen inside this room. That's my other camera. Holy sh Hola? The door just knocked. Buenas. The door just knocked. It's like something is standing on these floor. What the f Is it okay if I could be in here? Do you want me to keep the doors open? ¿Te quiere que yo deje la puerta abierta? At this point now, I am running out of time. I want to be able to explore the other mansion. This place is a bombshell of activity. Even leaving, I'm hearing noises of footsteps that sound like it's coming from upstairs. I do have night vision cameras that are watching this whole area. So I'll be kind of shuffling through there, giving you guys some static night vision footage. But as of right now, I'm gonna to head to the new place that I haven't been to since forever, and this place is even bigger. Wish me luck, let's go.
I'm now making it to mansion number three. Oh, there's a cat over there. Oh god, this place looks horrifying. This should be beautiful to check out on the inside. I don't know what's changed. For those of you who haven't seen this place before, I've been here a long time ago. And I haven't been back since. I'll lower the brightness down. Honey, I'm home. If you remember that old show, Lucy. I love Lucy. Lucy, I'm home. Holy crap. Completely untouched. This place looks like it's been cleaned. There's not a speck of dust on the window. I remember the last time I went crazy about a secret door I found here on the side. What is that? Hold on, I got a bag. Looks like just wood. Like rotten wood. Looks like somebody dismantled this and just left it there. See that? That is what dried up blood looks like. Like a black spore. This is another secret room. God, look how creepy that is. It's just a single chair in the center of the room. It's always freaking eerie to see that. And some more bars. This is a secret door. Probably have to use my knife to kind of wedge it in the side here. Oh, no. Let me just push it open. It's like a little hidden bathroom. So one thing that was scary about this place was the other side here that I'm going to be walking into and I just found something else more of what appears to look like blood notice I said looks like blood because I don't know right here there's more of it kind of spattered on the wall here I don't know what happened if they were making a movie in here or what at this point now, I'm going to see if I can make my way towards the kitchen area and probably do like an ovulus, maybe a rim pod session, seeing what I can get in contact with. So I'm about to head out of here. And look at this. A little handprint on the wall. Could have been just anybody, but it's still creepy to see that. This place is truly like a maze. It's a dining room set.
I just saw somebody pass by. Pass by the table. I'm gonna turn on my flashlight. This door just closed. Hola? The door just closed. Shit. Hola? I just see something pass by right here. Walk this way and then the door just shut. I'm gonna switch this over to my uh, GoPro if I not already did it. I'm recording with two cameras here. As of right now, I want to find a way to get up towards the staircase, but I am terrified right now after what i just seen. It looked like a shadow just walked right in here and went straight into this room. I don't know if it was to direct me what was the right way or what, but I need to find where the hell is that staircase. Oh my god, I feel like there's something going to be here. There's no other way in or out of here besides the door that I just came in from. That door is shut. I don't even have access to this door. See? There's a big latch on it here. A latch here. It's going to look like somebody tried breaking in at one point. There's no way in or out. Because the last time I came out of this room, I left this door open. Close it for you. There has got to be some sort of way to getting behind this wall. Oh, it would be this. Oh my God, this house is huge. the dining room area. I want to see if I could go ahead and use the obulus to see what kind of communication that I can make. I've always been skeptical of the obulus because it just kind of like throws out just, see? It just throws out some random voices. We'll lower it down just a little bit. It throws out some random voices here and there, but there's times where what it throws out has such a strong connection to what I'm doing, it completely throws me off. And maybe I could get some sort of communication going. That being said, let's see what I get. If there is anyone in this room with me, from what I seen passing by the window, I'm not sure if that was a person or maybe something else, but I did hear what sounded like a big bang and this door is closed. Did you or anything else here is listening to me or have anything to do with anything? Oh, and I just heard a noise. My back. body was taken. Really? I was bumped into this. Why was your body taken? Lucille. Lucille. Who's Lucille? Or Lucille probably took your body. Why did Lucille take your body? Lucille, that's a naughty thing to do. 
Did Lucille take your body because you were sick? Oh, what the freak? I just found something else. Con esta agua limpiarás tu sangre. I, I swear to God, that's what it says. It says, with this water, clean your blood. Let's see if I can get the right light on it. See? What the hell happened here? Did you guys, did you guys clean somebody's blood here? Or did somebody do this? This might have been after you. Holy sh! What the hell did you guys do in this place? There's something in there too. There's a big spider in there. I just want to see what the hell that was. I found this inside one of the holes in here. I was looking and you can see what looks like candle wax hanging down. I'm kind of curious, but whatever. Right? The candle wax hanging down and then I saw this. And then hidden in the back were these guys. Look at this. Is that supposed to be some sort of voodoo doll? I'll leave that to you. I'm just showing what I found. Some more candle wax there. See if there's anything else actually. I don't think so. Anyway, I am running out of time, so I gotta make my way out of here and get the hell out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen. I usually like to do my outros in the front, but I gotta get my cameras on the outside and also get my camera over there and the rest of my gear. But thank you guys for watching Franco TV. Did you see something I might have missed? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any idea for those of you who are around this area, what is the deal with the Quinta heading? Why is it so haunted? Why are there so many abandoned mansions? And why is there such a dark lore that surrounds this place with ghosts and spirits? Let me know in the comments below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye guys.